Welcome to lecture series of power electronics. In this session, I am going to discuss the difference between voltage source and current source inverter, VSI and CSI. So I have listed out few parameters. According to these parameters, we can easily bifurcate voltage source inverter and current source inverter respectively. So according to DC input, if I talk about voltage source inverter, it takes constant DC voltage as an input source. When it comes to CSI or current source inverter, it takes a constant current as an input. That is a major difference. Regarding the power source, uh, it is typically connected to DC voltage source such as battery or capacitor. When it comes to CSI, it is typically connected to current source like such as inductor or current control sources. So that is another difference regarding voltage source. While talking about output, it provides an AC voltage output with current depending on the load. While we are comparing with the current source inverter, it provides AC current output voltage with the voltage depending on the load. So these are the few important difference. Now I'll be moving on other parameters for the better classification. Let us consider the switching devices. Usually in voltage source inverter, the power electronic switches such as insulated gate bipolar junction transistors and metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors are mainly used to turn on and turn off. While we are comparing with the current source inverter, the switching devices commonly used are gate turn off thyristors and the family of thyristors. Okay. Regarding the applications, the VSIs are commonly employed in uh, electric motor drives, uninterrupted power supplies and the solar inverters. Then regarding the current source inverter, it is mainly used for high power industrial drives and induction heating, uh, the welding applications. Regarding the commutation, the, like a turning off, commutation, uh, it is relatively simple due to voltage control. While we are comparing with the current source inverter, commutation is more complicated and it requires more uh, careful consideration. So these are the few more differences. And from these differences, you will come to know why the voltage source inverter is most popular compared to current source inverter. And let us see the few more important differences such as size and complexity. Generally, the VSI is smaller in size, less weight and less complex due to voltage control. Voltage control is pretty easier compared to current control. So regarding the current source inverter, it is more complex and uh, uh, we, we have to consider the, the inductive components and uh, we have to regulate the current. It is cumbersome task. So that's what the current source inverter is uh, very rarely used. Regarding the load dependency, output voltage is controlled and it does not depending on the load. Then output current is controlled and does not depending on the load in case of current source inverter. What about the efficiency? Uh, voltage source inverter is highly efficient, uh, especially low power applications. Uh, when we are comparing with the current source inverter, it is generally lower in efficiency and uh, it is suitable for very high frequency switching. What about the cost? VSI is cheap and it is most widely used where the cost of the current source inverter is more complex because we need to control the current and we have to take care about the inductor charging and discharging. It is more uh, complicated and uh, we require more uh, protective devices for the smooth operation of CSI. So that is what voltage source inverter is most commonly used compared to current source inverter. But regarding the switching, uh, the operation uh, CSI dominates in the sense regarding the switching speed, right? What about the harmonics? Uh, compared to current source inverter, the voltage source inverter produce only few harmonics. Okay, only higher order harmonics will be present in the case of voltage source inverter. But if I talk about the current source inverter, especially third, third and fifth harmonics will be always present in uh, current source inverter. So uh, there will be the current spikes, uh, current spikes at the output. Uh, what are the examples of voltage source inverter? AC motor drives, especially fans, pumps, where uh, usually we can easily control the voltage. Regarding the induction heating, uh, current source inverters are most pop popularly used. Okay. Let us conclude what are the major differences between current source inverter and voltage source inverter. So in the case of VSI, input voltage is constant, where in the case of current source inverter, input current is constant. Then one more peculiarity, output voltage does not depending on the load in case of VSI, where output current does not depending on load in case of CSI. The magnitude of uh, uh, the load current and shapes de merely depending on the load, 
uh, if I talk about VSI. While we are talking about uh, current source inverter, the magnitude of load voltage and its shape merely depending on the shape of the load. Okay. So that is another important thing. Then we can say about like VSI has a constant voltage at its input terminal where the output voltage does not depending on the load we just discussed. Then output current depending on the type of the load. That is a major difference in case of a VSI. Regarding the current CSI, it is just opposite to that of VSI. CSI has a constant current and in at its input terminal. The output current does not depending on the load and the output voltage will be depending on the load. So these are the peculiarity of uh, the CSI. Uh, now we can have the classification of VSI. We have according to the supply. Uh, so we have two types of single phase inverter. One is half bridge inverter and another one is full bridge inverter. While we are talking about the three phase voltage source inverter. So it is one, 180 degree mode and 120 degree mode. These are basically the conduction. Okay. Conduction of the switching devices. 180 degree conduction as well as 120 degree conduction. So this is the conclusion of the session. So in this video we discussed about what are the major differences between uh, voltage source inverter and current source inverter? Ultimately, we concluded that why the VSI is most popularly used. So let me know if you have any queries related to VSI and CSI. Uh, you can put up in the comment box. I'm happy to answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day.